Safety of the cyclists, pedestrians is, is a really important issue for Oklahoma City and for any city. So I was coming down the street here, we're at the bottom of Myriad Gardens, it was Mother's Day 2019, and I was coming up Hudson Street going north, uh, and these tracks at the time were kind of newer, uh, if people remember from when the streetcar started to operate. A distracted driver turned off of Reno and onto my street. Um, I was going about 20 miles an hour, and they came into my lane without seeing me. Um, so I had to go right really quickly. Unfortunately, that was the train track. My front wheel got stuck and I went right over the handlebars and landed on my head and uh, right elbow, right side, um, pretty banged up. It sucked. I had a, a plate and seven screws installed to uh, repair my elbow. And we have stress from day one, even before we launched the Oklahoma City Streetcar, and we continue, even to this day, to promote public education and try to create awareness of how to safely operate a bicycle around streetcar tracks. The absolute number one thing to keep in mind cycling around streetcar tracks is to cross tracks at at least a 60 degree, preferably a 90 degree angle. You know, it's a really important thing for city planners, urban planners, pedestrians, cyclists, and motorists to all be aware of, uh, of these kind of issues and, you know, the impact on each other. Because I also think about people in wheelchairs and other, you know, alternative modes of transportation that really need to be thought about when you're thinking about how to make a whole plan work for a city. We have a cyclist safety plan that we've developed and um, updated that, I believe, three times. We have um, identified some, some things to try. One is, of course, uh, more signage. Uh, but also we have to realize, you know, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of signs downtown. So we can put signs up, but that's probably not the ultimate answer. The ultimate answer is just public education. And so whether that's through social media, whether that's through public service announcements, it's really just all about education and how do we get people to hear the message. I'd love to see continuing, you know, dialogue like I said, gathering data about where incidents are happening, seeing if there's things that we can be, you know, co collectively agree on to just make it a safer city for all of us.